and welcome to my back storage room bar. Tonight, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a jasmine gin sling featuring some ginger hella bitters. Let's get started. What you're going to need, gin. I went with a California local gin, St. George. You're going to need a little bit of egg white, jasmine green tea. It's got jasmine flowers in there. It's the best tea ever. Uh, you're also going to need some honey. Uh, make it into a simple syrup and add some of that jasmine green tea. And you're also going to need a fresh lemon. And some club soda. Shall we make this thing or what? Get your tin and let's start adding some ingredients. Booze time, am I right? It's always booze time. Two full ounces of this good stuff. All right, we're gonna do a half an ounce of our little honey simple syrup with the tea in it. That's a mess. He's sticky, that's fine. Put it right in there. And then half a lemon. It's also probably just like half an ounce of citrus in there. All right, and then you're gonna do a little bit of that egg snot, just a tiny bit. See, I did like half of what you would get out of an egg, like a regular sized egg, not a giant or not a tiny one. And then you're going to put your ice cubes in there. And we're gonna shake the devil out of it. So just go ahead and add more ice. Chopsticks, pretty good with them too. Let's put our lid on there and let's give it a nice hard shake for about 15 seconds. And it should froth right up. We're gonna strain it into a glass. Looks and smells. Everything smells really good back here. And then see how there's only half an inch left? Just, just a top. Just to give it a nice tiny bit of that carbon. We're gonna take our hella bitters. We're gonna do three dashes on top. One, two, twelve. If you have the jasmine flowers, now is a perfect time to just lay it on top there. Jasmine Gin Sling. Hope you enjoyed.